Hello everyone, myself Dr. Madhuran Shinva, Certified Dermatologist from India discussing Dharma and Dharma related topics for MCQ based examinations. Uh, so it can be any exams for MCQ exams. If you need any help in dermatology, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And our today's thought is the more control you have over your life, the more responsible you will feel of your own success or failure. And our future is literally in our hands as a remote control. So whatever channel you are playing right now is going to decide the future. So most likely because you are watching my channel and this video. So your future is very, very bright. So with that, we'll move to the uh, question of uh, today's discussion. So the question is this. And if you have marked the answer as option C, then your answer is absolutely correct. So in psoriasis vulgaris, which is basically a papillosquamous disorder. Yes, we can use methotrexate which is an anti metabolite it is basically a disease modifying anti rheumatoid drug which can be used in psoriasis as acetratin can be used which is a systemic retinoid which can also be used nbuvb which is a form of phototherapy along with pua that is sorelin and uva this can also be used and tnf alpha inhibitors like for example etanercept infliximab adalimumab golimumab and sertolizumab so these all can also be used that is the reason why 2 3 4 5 is the answer and uh, please remember, please remember oral dexamethasone, oral form of a steroid is never used in psoriasis vulgaris under normal circumstances. Okay, so this is going to produce two important complications. So if any one of you know those complications, please do put in the comment section and also the dexamethasone that is oral steroid, they are not used in psoriasis vulgaris. Okay, but there are some exceptional cases like for example in pregnant women. In pregnant women, if there are certain uh, conditions like for example, impetigo herpetiformis or if there is a erythroderma, erythrodermic psoriasis in a pregnant woman, then we do not have any other option. We have to use the dexamethasone or any oral steroids, oral or systemic steroids. So I want all of you to just answer this A in uh, which the oral dexamethasone if it is used in psoriasis vulgaris and if it is withdrawn abruptly it is going to produce two important complications so i want all of you to answer what are those two important complications so please put your answer in the comment section so i will check out what are your answers and this is tomorrow's mcq this is also basically a papillosquamous disorder if you know the answer for this question please do leave uh, it in the comment section and yes i hope this video is helpful for you please do give it a like if you have found it helpful just scan this qr code or you can also check out the links in the description to join all my dharma related groups and instagram pages and whatnot all the social media and if any specific topic you want me to discuss please do leave that dermatology related topic in the comment section so i will try to make a video in the future so thank you so much for watching this video till this point so please please do remember to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you will get all the latest updates of the videos and also do check out these previous videos so this is dr madhuran shinvas your dermatology educator uh, thank you so much for watching this point. Sarvejana Sukhina Bantu. Happy learning dermatology.